there are three stages of birth. During the first stage of labor, contractions gradually dilate your cervix to about 10 centimeters. This is the longest stage and involves three distinct phases. One, the latent phase is the first and easiest phase and its duration ranges from six hours to three days. It usually starts very slowly, giving you time to get used to the sensation of labor. You may feel mild, irregular contractions. They may come every 20 to 25 minutes and last about 30 to 45 seconds. During this phase, the cervix dilates from zero to five centimeters. You may notice thick pink vaginal discharge. This is the mucus plug that helps keep bacteria from passing through the cervix during pregnancy. If your labor starts at night, try to stay comfortable and relaxed. Sleep if you can. If your labor starts during the day, stay upright and active, ensuring only gentle movements. This helps your baby move down into your pelvis. Having a warm bath and a massage may help ease pain during this early stage of labor. It's also a good idea to have something to eat and drink because you'll need the energy later. Don't forget to urinate often, even if you don't feel the urge. A full bladder may make it more difficult for your uterus to contract efficiently, and an empty bladder leaves more room for your baby to descend. Two, the second phase is called active labor and is marked by an increase in contractions and may last up to eight hours. The contractions occur every two to three minutes and last around a minute each. The cervix will continue to dilate to eight centimeters. This is when it's time to go to the hospital. Three, the transition phase is the third and most intense phase. You'll experience strong contractions that may come every two minutes that will each last around 1.5 minutes. There will be almost no break between them. It's common to experience shaking, shivering, nausea and vomiting when you transition from the end of the first stage to the beginning of the second. The cervix dilates fully to 10 centimeters and your baby starts to descend into the birth canal. At this point, you may feel pressure in your rectum like you need to have a bowel movement. You may start to feel the urge to push. This brings us to the second stage of labor. The pushing stage usually lasts for about an hour. Your water may break during this phase if it hasn't already. Your baby's head rotates under and around the pubic bone. When your baby reaches the vaginal opening, you will be able to feel the top of their head during contractions. However, your baby's head may slide back between contractions for a period of time and will then suddenly stay at the opening, even in between contractions. This is called crowning. Most women experience an intense burning or stinging sensation during this time as your baby's head stretches the tissues. This is usually brief, lasting only one or two contractions. And then your baby will be born. Your baby will immediately be brought up onto your belly, dried and covered with a blanket. Skin to skin contact is a very important time for bonding and breastfeeding initiation immediately after birth. The third stage of labor is the birth of your placenta. This can take anywhere from five to 30 minutes. Thank you for watching this video. Please watch my other videos if you would like to know how breastfeeding works or what to expect during a C-section.